Good morning, everyone. It is coffee and questions time. So uh, let's get right into this. First things first, Vicki tells me that we need a bunch more pictures. So you guys, a lot of you guys are sending in pictures. This is for the Christmas contest. Don't forget, we're going to give away that sign December 7th, I think. So uh, get your family pictures in uh, to Vicki. Email them to her. Vicki with Dave signs at gmail.com. So get those family pictures into her and you'll be entered in to win that uh, to win that Christmas sign which I'm going to be carving this coming Friday. You guys will see me carving that on camera. You, you want to tune in for that. It, it's going to be fun. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is this CA glue that I used the other day on Friday's um, newsletter. I love this stuff. This stuff is great. However, I did have a lot of you guys commenting and writing me emails and different things that uh, there's something to be aware of when you're using this stuff. It is, um, the fumes can be pretty uh, problematic, let's say. And I will say, even though I was using this stuff outside, I don't think I'd ever use this stuff inside. Um, the fumes from it, um, even even outside, the way the wind was kind of swirling a little bit, uh, for a couple hours, I felt a little scratchy. I didn't, I don't know. And I, I you know me, I eat sawdust for a living, <laughs> so I never wear a respirator or anything. But I think if I was using this stuff inside, I definitely would want to have a respirator mask on. Um, so again, I love this stuff, but uh, I won't be using it inside. If you do, uh, just be aware. And there's, I guess, there can be. Pretty, um, pretty people can be pretty allergic to this stuff and it becomes kind of a cumulative thing. So um, anyway, um, just be aware with this stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff on the internet about it. In fact, I, I think one of my guys sent me a link to some, uh, to a, um, a blog kind of thing where they were talking about uh, people that might have be susceptible to be allergic to this stuff so just be aware um, okay so our two questions today are cool I'm really liking them because they're going to be um, interviews that I did one first ones from Eric Gentry was the last uh, uh, seminar that we had he's got a great question terrific and then it's going to uh, roll into the second question and then I'll come back but even before that here's a little clip that we took when we were on our way to Las Vegas the other day uh, and let me preface this a little bit there's a place in Boulder City where there's grass on right alongside the highway on both sides of the highway and every once in a while you get lucky and the bighorn sheep come in out of the mountains and they come down to eat that grass so take a look at this video uh, and then we're going to roll right into the right into the two questions. So uh, here's that video, and I'll be back at the end for uh, sign carvers of the day. Here you go. Coffee and questions time. We are here with Eric from Rifle Colorado. Rifle Colorado. Not my sign, that's his sign. Check that out, guys. Uh, making some amazing signs. And I've seen Eric's stuff. He showed me some signs on his phone and, and different things. And so tell us about this sign, Eric. What's the what's the deal with it? Well, it's it's two by fours, Douglas fir two by fours that are laminated together and then and then carved. Okay. Uh, gotcha. And this is, uh, what is Pruitt number 15, what is that? I, I had done the, the, the bear head as a local uh, uh, mascot for a, a high school there where, where I live. And uh, a customer saw that I had done just the stock sign and asked to personalize it for the uh, child's name and, and number. Yeah, cool. 15, so he's probably a quarterback or maybe yeah, or wide receiver. Could be wide receiver, yeah, but offense I probably. probably. Well, I should probably, yeah. I should yeah, aren't you a referee or something? <laughs> I know, I should know yeah. this thing. Yeah. Anyway. That keeps me unbiased. <laughs> I don't know. You, you don't want it. You're not supposed to. Right. Um, okay, so anyway, so you had a question in regards to this. My question was, when I was laminating this board together, I have, uh, and in spraying it, I have some seams that are visible. 
Uh, so my question is, is, is there a technique or a way to eliminate where this looks more seamless like yeah. because it's, it's Yeah, can you, can you zoom in on that, babe? Let's, let's show this a little bit. So what you've got is, and again, this is Douglas fir. So you just, you, uh, and these are done out of two by fours. So you just ran through the table saw, right? Yes. Yeah, ran through the table saw. So what happened was, in these seams, you can see that a few of them in, in places, not everywhere, but in places, you can see they kind of come up black. Well, the reason they came up black is that my, my hunch is you didn't have enough glue in there you, and you used tight bond, you told me, right? Uh, this was actually Gorilla Glue. Oh, you used yeah, Gorilla, Gorilla glue. glue? But was it the white Gorilla Glue or was it the, the expanding foam? The expanding foam. Yeah, what, what happened was you probably just didn't use quite enough glue. And that doesn't happen with Gorilla Glue a lot. But chances are you didn't use quite enough Gorilla Glue Turn to the point where they expanded. Yeah, where they, it expanded, and so then if there was a slight indentation in there, then what happened is when you went to spray these black, then that got in there, and then, uh, so you, if you had noticed, then you could have masked that off, and it would have ended up where you have a little bit better, in, in spots you had more glue that expanded and completely filled the joint, and you didn't have there, so it's just different places where the black kind of filled out. So that's uh, very common, guys, is that uh, not using enough glue. So that the chances are, even though you did use the expansive, uh, the expanding Gorilla Glue, chances are you just didn't have enough in those spots. And then you compounded that by you didn't you didn't mask that's that right. off when you sprayed your black. So and that, remember, and, and the funny thing is, I, and we were talking about before, there's many places where you have little uh, indentations from knots where you puttied that up, and if you hadn't done that, that would have end up, ended up black. So it's just stuff that you learn, you know, that, and so my hunch is you just didn't have enough glue in there. But it's an amazing looking sign, and nobody, you know, that's, that's they're gonna love that sign. That's an amazing looking sign. A great job, man, great job. So um, we've got all different, so we're at, in case we didn't talk about it, we're at the end of a third seminar, and uh, Eric was one of our, uh, one of our attendees, so um, we loved having them. And uh, drive you drove all the way from Colorado. Drove all the way from Colorado. Wow, yeah. and it was like thirteen. Uh, about you 10. Say? 10? About ten. Yeah, speed limit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> speed limit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just speed limit. Got it. Ten and or thirteen? What hours? <laughs> thirteen. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, you just said ten, 10. or thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Well, ten hours. I said thirteen. Oh, hours. He well, corrected me. Ten yeah. hours. That lady behind them. Camera's, Camera's kind, of kind of annoying. annoying. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to block your you too. Okay. All right. Well, we better get out of here. Well, it's still in one piece. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, Eric, for driving down. Uh, it was so much fun working with you, and you're making great signs. Thank you. Thank you. Great signs. Just uh, had a blast. It was so much fun. It was great. Yeah. Thank so, you. Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. I hope it, this was helpful for you. So when you're laminating boards together, especially the two inch like that, make sure don't skimp on the glue. So uh, we'll, and I'll be doing another video soon on that uh, where I'm showing um, a kind of an update on how to laminate boards together. So thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Well, I'm walking up to you, so now's a good time. Are you recording this? I am. <laughs> All right, hey you guys, uh, we are in Las Vegas with my buddy Dan Yotis, uh, in from, uh, from where? New York City. From New York City. He's had to be in town and we went ahead and drove up, had some lunch together, and now we're going to do a, we don't have any coffee, but we're going to do a question. So, uh, Dan said he had a question for me, so. So my question is, carving inset letters, is it okay to use the profile bit? out with the 60 degree to make the inset? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and and uh, I don't know, a few videos ago, probably I know, a few months ago, I I said that dad, really actually dad, prefers to carve inset letters with a profile bit. And the one thing I got to thinking about it, the one thing that gives you an advantage if you do carve inset letters with a profile bit, I like the 60 degree Z girl. But if you use a profile bit, then what happens is it gives you a little bit more room for error on the inside. You don't have to be right on that line 
like when you're carving with a 60 degree finger, you're pretty much carving on both sides of the letter at the same time. And when you're cutting with that profile bit, you're just cutting one side and you can error to the inside and then cut the other side of the letter and you're taking all the middle out anyway with a 60 or go back in. Or you could even take that out with a profile bit too, go down to the or whatever. Cut a wider line. Good question. My trouble is cutting the outset letters. I find inset letters a lot easier. Find inset letters easier to see. That's a funny thing because sometimes some guys like the outset letters, uh, think they're a lot easier, but some guys are the inset letters. I've always thought inset letters were a lot easier as well. So, yeah. It seems to me when you, when, when you do it, for me, it just seems like a lot to fly. To do outset letters? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Exact. So what you might do is go shallower and make it in two or three cuts because the shallower that you go, like we talked about a couple of videos ago, the less material you're taking out, the more control you're going to have of the router. So I mean, start from the outside, leave it some black all the way around and work your way in. Even if it takes two or three cuts, then you know, you're not going to be taking away too much at a time. All right, thanks, thanks man. It's been fun. Thanks we had, for coming. We're here nice at the speaking. House of Blues. Just had a great meal. Uh, Vic had some key lime pie. Awesome key lime pie. And uh, we're just having, having fun. So wanted to come up here and, and uh, meet my, my buddy. And uh, we will uh, somehow integrate this on the coffee and questions. I'm not sure exactly how. Anyway, Dan goes home tomorrow. Yes. Next time you come back to Vegas, we'll do it again. Seminar, hopefully. Seminar, yeah. Seminars. Yeah, yeah. In the spring or fall, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Don't forget, get your supplies like I did. But <laughs> Another plug. All I right. didn't tell him to say that. All right. All right, All right guys. See you on the next video. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay guys, so uh, thank you Eric and thank you Dan for those questions. And that second question from Dan, we were filming in Mandalay Bay out in front of the restaurant, House of Blues restaurant. And so there was a, you guys could tell there was a lot of background noise. So I wanna go over that just real quick. So what he was asking is, when he carves bigger inset letters, he uses the profile bit. And what did I think of that? And and. Honest, and the way I answered it basically was absolutely if you guys feel more comfortable and there is a little bit more room for comfort by carving big inset letters with a profile bit because you're carving one side of the letter and then you can move over and carve the other side of the leather letter leather letter um, and you can error to the inside of the letter and that's all going to be cut out anyway whether you do it with a V groove or a flat bottom but when you're cutting with a 60 degree V groove the way I do you're basically cutting most of the time you're cutting both sides of the letter at the same time so there's a lot less room for error so um, if you guys are having problems with inset letters you might try that use a profile bit or you I suppose you could even use the SC50 you just can't carve very deep with the SC50 but use a profile bit and do one side of the letter and then move over and do the other side of the letter it gives you a lot more room for error to the inside so that's basically what Dan and I talked about uh, okay, sign carvers of the day. Dale Boyer. This is a seven and a half by 19. And I think it's a picture of a drummer. Really a cool image. I don't know if this is a Muppets character it or. Like a Muppet it looks like a Muppets character, but I, I have to admit, I don't know. But it's really cool. That's a, maybe that's a grunge thing, huh? I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was really cool. Very cool. Great job, Dale. And next, Aubrey Hemingway. This one's another really cool one. Kind of an image. Huh? I've showed this one before? Why was it in my stack? I don't know. Really? Uh huh. Huh. Well, Aubrey. You're a sign carver of the day for the same sign second time, according to my wife. I don't remember, but um, I remember anyway. The signs. Huh? I remember the signs. Do you? That's all right. Very cool. Anyway, I like it. I like the way the you did the uh, the the lines in the background of the beard to kind of match what a beard would look like. Very cool. 
Anyway, all right. So I apologize that if that's a rerun there or repeat on a sign carver of the day, there's a big stack. Okay, you guys, that is it. Uh, what else did I need to mention? Oh, Send me pictures. yeah, get those pictures in and um, it's Thanksgiving week already. I know. Unbelievable. Uh, so we'll we'll be doing a video on Wednesday, the day before, and we will be doing Friday. We got to, you know, we're carving that sign on Friday, a special Black Friday newsletter, I guess. So hope you guys can join us. Thanks again. Thumbs up if this was helpful to you. Um, please subscribe if you, I haven't said that lately. If you haven't subscribed, um, please subscribe, share our videos and uh, you know, pass the word. So everybody have a great week. I know it's probably a short week for pretty much everybody with Thanksgiving. So um, hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving, but we'll talk again on Wednesday. So have a great Monday, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye.